The Andrews government is going to war with the Auditor General after the advice underpinning its flagship road project was called into question and it faced further criticism after censoring hundreds of pages of level crossing documents. State political reporter Andrew Lund. With all but one of the 284 pages blacked out, this was the business case for the government's flagship level crossing removal program tabled in Parliament this morning. It's just extraordinary that the government's got so little respect for Victorians that they're prepared to actually uh, yeah, release these sorts of documents which tell you nothing. It was an own goal because the unredacted document is already publicly available and with anti-sky rail protesters set up outside Parliament, it wasn't a good look. This is a government that is not transparent. Uh, that is keeping secrets from the Victorian people. The secretive deal to build the Westgate Tunnel was also called into question with a scathing report from the Auditor General finding the government approved Transurban's proposal without sufficient proof that it offered good value for money. The Auditor General has told Victorians the truth and that is Labor's Westgate Tunnel deal with Transurban just doesn't stack up. Treasurer Tim Pallas hit back, but in the process attempted to rewrite history. The government went to the people of Victoria. We said exactly what we would do. Treasurer, in, in 2014 you went to the people saying you were going to uh, introduce the Westgate distributor, which was a $500 million off-ramp. That is not a $6 billion tunnel and extra tolls on CityLink to Transurban. You did not go to the people saying what you were going to do. And indeed, we progressively improved that offering to the people of Victoria. To the tune of $6 billion and another 10 years of CityLink tolls. Well, I'm, I'm glad that you uh, recognise the enormity of the change and the improvement. But you're being dishonest. You did not go to the people with what you signed up to do. Well, we went to the people of Victoria at the last election. Having signed the contract? Uh, well, uh, we also provided in the contract the opportunity for the alternative scenario. The tollway is due to open in 2022. And let's go live to Andrew Lund at St Vincent's Plaza. Andrew, tram passengers face another strike tomorrow. Uh, yes, Pete, I'm afraid so. Tram drivers will walk off the job from 10am tomorrow through until 2pm as part of their ongoing EBA dispute with the private operator. Public Transport Victoria says there will likely be disruptions for an hour or two either side of that strike as trams are returned to depots and then repositioned. Now, bus replacements will be in operation but they will be limited so passengers are being told to expect lengthy delays. The one bit of good news is that tram services should be operating relatively normally for both the morning and evening peaks. Pete.